In 2018, the ADAC Air Rescue Service carried out 54,000 operations, one and a half thousand of them at places with road traffic. The problem with an accident on a motorway is that if the helicopter arrives in advance of the police, there will be nobody there who can block the road for the helicopter to land safely. What the police or fire brigade would do, we can now handle with the rescue helicopter. Our system uses connected automated driving technology to enable the helicopter to send out a message that prevents communication-capable vehicles from driving on. It will completely block all lanes of the road. We want the helicopter to be able to land on a motorway without ground personnel. Of course, it's quite difficult to test something like that directly on a motorway. So we went to an airfield with very safe conditions for our tests. We had our autonomous vehicles drive there, plus an airborne drone to keep the costs low. However, our application focuses on the helicopter. So in this case, the drone represents the rescue helicopter. With a drone, we can operate and test more flexibly and at lower risk. For the test, the drone takes off to initiate the rescue operation. Finally, it flies over the runway to get an overview of the situation to identify a place to land. That's the simulated reconnaissance flight that we carry out. Then our autonomous road vehicles start moving. They will align themselves to form a physical barrier that causes the following non-automated vehicles to stop. We want to make sure that the road can be blocked off to all kinds of vehicles. Connected automated vehicles can already communicate efficiently with each other, and the messages that they exchange have also been standardized. It's a realistic scenario. But the communication between airborne and ground traffic is not standardized, so that no messages can be exchanged between them. These two worlds have to be brought together by a translator. That's a software able to deal with both languages, filtering out, translating and transmitting messages relevant for the vehicles so that they can understand the drone representing the helicopter. As soon as the helicopter initiates the landing approach on a motorway, a geofence is automatically generated. That is like a virtual fence which closes the lanes to all motor vehicles. As soon as the pilot has made his decision where to land, he sends a signal to the ground vehicles below, which causes them to stop and block the motorway. As soon as the drone verifies the landing spot is clear, it proceeds to land. The rescue operation would begin as soon as the traffic has been stopped. The blockade remains in effect until the helicopter has evacuated those who are wounded. The pilot can end the blockade either by himself or simply because the communication link to the ground is broken off and the motor vehicles can then continue their journey. Finally, our concept has worked. We have shown that communication between these two different worlds is possible. These worlds have never overlapped, so bringing them together means breaking new ground.